All right, folks. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, done a YouTube. Sorry about that. I apologize. I've been busy. Uh, got some hogs this weekend. Give uh, several of them away, but I've got uh, I've got a couple right here. I'm fixing to do something with. If you can see right there, I got them quartered up, and I'm vacuum sealing them. I'm gonna show y'all, you know, just how simple this is right here. But uh, these are just quartered up. This is like a hind quarter off one of those small pigs right there and uh you know most of the time pork won't last in the uh, deep freeze very long before it gets tainted but with this vacuum seal system it lasts a long time and all you're doing i got two shoulders in this one right here because they're uh, they're small anyway i put that set that thing on moist in case you got you know you got it sitting in the cooler and you see i got a cooler out there oh you know and and as it's sitting in that ice it'll get you know collect all that moisture from the water or whatever when it melted and uh, as you you know you need to set that thing on moist anyway that way it's going to burn that that seam a little bit harder than it normally would you know if you just set it on like dry like if you were doing if you were can you know doing like bell peppers or something like that packaging those up you wouldn't have to set it on uh, on moist Anyway, a lot of times you got to watch this right here too, where you cut these things, you know, where you cut those legs off, those bones will pierce that plastic and then you won't even notice it. I think that's what's going on right here. As you can see, that's not as tight. I think I've got a sharp bone in here or something. So what I'm gonna have to do probably is just do these <coughs> individually instead of doing both front shoulders at the same time, because this is the second time I've run this one. And it's so and it's and it's busted the sack. So all you gotta do, and you can reuse this sack. I just make it smaller. I'm gonna do some patty sausage too, so I can reuse that pack from there down and just do uh, patty sausage. Anyway, it just didn't know. Uh, it ain't. It's got a sharp bone or something right there, and it keeps puncturing. Yeah, I see it right there. It's punching a hole in it, and it's leaking. Just make sure before you put them in the freezer that they're all sealed off real good. If you'll let them sit out for a second, you'll know. See, this one's not leaking. Now, when you if you throw it in the freezer, you're gonna knock a hole in it. You know, you're gonna, one of those bones is gonna end up going through it and it's gonna start leaking. So you got to be careful about how you put them in there. Just lay them in there. You know, just take care of it. You don't wanna knock a hole in it and then it get air in it and freezer burn. Pretty simple though. Anyway, that's what I'm working on it's going and like i said i apologize it's taking me so long to get a uh, youtube going now you can get these things at walmart or whatever i mean this is a commercial one from uh bass pro and it's so uh, you know it works pretty good take those i've probably y'all probably seen me cook them on the uh, you know in the smokehouse out here what i'll do is is even as it's in the pack i will uh, thaw it out you know throw it in the sink or something one morning and in that afternoon or or either throw it in the sink that night thaw it out during the night oh uh, and get up the next morning and i'll inject this this ham or shoulder or whatever while it's still in the in the vacuum seal package and in that way, you don't have the mess to deal with, you know. And when you get ready to uh, to put it on the smoker or the grill or in the oven or whatever, you can cut the sack, pull it out, put your rub on the outside of it. It's already injected. It's been marinating in it. Uh, and then throw it on the grill. Look at that. Ooh, it's going to be good, y'all. It's going to be good. Guarantee you. That's a little front shoulder off one of them. This is probably my favorite part of the whole hog. I don't know what it is, but I love the front shoulder, especially on the smoker. But now I've always been a, uh, I like to go shoulder steaks better than I do uh, pork chops. I'm a dark, I like the darker meat. I don't know why, it's just got more flavor to me. But. Anyway, you get the gist of what I'm doing. I'm fixing the, oh, uh, I'm gonna get all this stuff right here vacuum sealed and then I'm gonna jump over here start working on some patty sausage and doing some grinding over here on this but that's what we're going to be doing in just a little bit and we'll get you caught up on that and i'll show you how i mix it and all that you know with the uh put the sausage seasoning and, and all in there but anyway 
y'all hang in there we might fry up some in a little bit and uh and make sure we got the right uh right amount of seasoning in that sausage come on big boy see there that's what i'm gonna have to do with them two right there i'll have to do them individually because the bones are sticking through there anyway y'all hang in there we might fry some sausage up in a little bit all right here we go now, last time y'all saw me, I ground the sausage. Oh, I think I mixed a little bit of deer in there with it. Oh, I mixed my seasoning. This is the seasoning that I use. It's only because I like it. I mean, I'm sure y'all have, probably people have their own preference about what seasoning they like. This is just, this is just the blend that oh, is close to what I grew up to, you know, used to eating. So this is, this is just the one that I like. Anyway, you can use whatever you want to. You can mix your own up. But anyway, what I've done on this, I'm not going to make smoked sausage. So I'm not going to stuff it in the casing and I'm not going to put it in the smokehouse and smoke it. The only thing I want to do is I'm going to grind it. I'm going to grind it with the coarse, oh, the coarse knife, I guess is what you call it. All right. And what I'm doing with the meat right now is I'm letting it drain because it's been sitting in the bottom of that cooler and it's full of water and I don't want it soupy. So I'm letting it just sit here in the sink and drain. And I want to go back through and pick some of the hair because every now and then you'll get some hair or some kind of crud or something on it. And we don't want no hair or no crud on our sausage. So I'm going to run it first. I'm going to run it through this knife. I'm going to call this a knife. I don't know exactly what you call it. Anyway. Oh, and then I'm going to mix my seasoning in it. This does 25 pounds. And I'm thinking I'm pretty close. I may be a little over. If, I, if not, I got some more in there if I'm a little bit over. But this will do 25 pounds of meat. And oh, and it mixes it awesome. I'm talking about this stuff is to me, to me, in my opinion, this is the best blend that I found. Anyway, once I get that stuff really mixed in there good and all, I mean, you gotta sit there and really get after it. Let me tell you, your hands will be freezing. Oh, I always do this on a on a good cold day, and that way you're not, you know, because if you'll look right here, I've got, I've just got this meat laying out, but it's 30 degrees, so I don't have to worry about it. The wind's blowing, you know, of course, it's just perfect conditions for this. This is why I built this outdoor kitchen. I am not in the house jacking this, dragging this crap through the house. I don't have to worry about it. It's easy to work with this big old sink. This is why I wanted this old sink like this. Perfect. But anyway, let me get back to my story. I'm getting off track. I know it. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I'll run it back through this fine one and then that'll be perfect for the patty sausage. Boom. See, I was all I had to say in the first place, wasn't it? Anyway, oh, let me uh, let me go back through here and pick all the hair and clean this up really good and let it drain a little bit. And I had some folks asking, I think this is a 22 and I think this is like a horse and a half on this motor. So uh, pretty strong, as fast as you can poke it in there, it will grind it up. And, uh, and be careful, I don't think I can get mine in there, but oh, you gotta be careful with this thing because if it ever gets a hold to you, that auger, it'll pull you right in it. But like I said, I, my hands is big enough that mine won't fit in there, but oh, people with smaller hands, that's what they make this right here for. And plus they've got a pan that goes on top, but I hadn't got it out here yet. I was just, I was thinking about just doing it like this. That way y'all could see better about what's going on because it's got a lip around the outside. But anyway, for those of y'all at hand will fit in there, use this. Because you see what it did to that right there when it catches it. That thing right there will suck you in there and grind you up. So you got to be careful with it. Anyway, let me get this picked up, picked off, cleaned up, and uh, drained real good. And cut up to where we can get it in that thing right there. And we're going to grind some sausage. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Y'all look at this thing right here in action. Let me tell you, this is my favorite knife right here in the world. Now I'm leaving, I'm leaving, oh, a little hair there, here and there. I'm leaving a lot of that fat on there, y'all, because these wild hogs are so lean. So, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to leave it all on there, but I would, oh, it makes it stick better if you leave, you know, I leave a lot. Especially if I was going to mix like a deer or something with it, you know, I'd mix a whole lot in there with it. I think I can poke that in there. I don't know if I cut that in half. But anyway, all I'm doing is cutting this stuff up just small enough that I can poke it in that hole right there. Because listen, that thing right there will grind it. Like that right, that whole back strap off that hog, it'll pull it. 
Believe me, it will pull it through there. And we're just going through checking for hair, dirt, or anything like that, you know. Like I said, if you got a little bit too much fat, you know, you might want to cut some of that off and lay it to the side and mix it with the deer, and you can make patty sausage with the deer, too. That's what I normally do. Anyway, go hang in there. We're fixing to be grinding in just a minute. And I'll show you just how fast this goes. All right. I got it all cleaned up, cut up where I can get it in there. I want to see right now just how much we working with before I start grinding. It's just easier anyway. So all I'm going to do is just step on the bathroom scales. Oh, let's see how much I weigh. 176. All right, I got this. Woo, two. 18 so that's 42 pounds there's 42 pounds of meat right there we're gonna say 40 because the can probably weighs two so anyway that's how we gonna work it now let me get this thing situated right here and i'm gonna show you just how fast this bad boy operates just about as fast as you can poke it in there now, I'm going to leave it in the sink right there because that's going to be a big container that I can actually mix that seasoning in right there. Let me get this set of scales out of the way. All right, here we go. Maybe y'all can see this. Right. Now, if you've got... If you've got some fat or you know, your real fatty pieces, I would... Of course, you're gonna mix all this together, so it really don't matter. But uh, you know, you could sort of do one fat piece and then one lean piece, and then that way it's gonna help you mix it because they're gonna be closer together in the pile, if you know what I mean. But right now we're freestyling; we're just going with it. So uh, we're doing a lot of the fatty pieces now. Look at that, though. I have the whole back strap off the one right there. It don't play around, folks. This thing right here will grind it up in a hurry. About as fast as you can put it in there, it'll grind it. Anyway, the other one, when we start going through this finer knife or blade or whatever, this one right here, it's gonna be a whole lot slower because it's already ground up and it doesn't have the backbone, I guess, that auger to grab it and push it through there. So it's gonna be a little bit slower. But y'all can look at that right there. Woo! You wait till I start frying it up. Mm. It's gonna be good, y'all. Look at that though. When you put it in there, you gone. Gone, I'm talking about. Eat it up. Look at that big chunk right there, watch this. Eat it up. Oh, now you're going to call me a lot. I see what's going on now. There you go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Big old pork belly right there. That's a fat. All that is fat right there. But, look at that. Now see, that'll mix all the way through that. And that'll make, just help hold it together. But all that is is wild hog. There ain't no domesticated stuff in here. All it is is he he put that fat on eating uh, peanuts and corn and, you know, acorns out of the woods and whatever else they eat, which is about everything. Okay. Undoubtedly, they've eaten about half the deer herd around here, too, because I can't hardly find a deer anymore. They're not a good one, you know. Anyway. I'm going to stop this thing. You see what's going on. I'm just going to run this through there. I'm going to mix my seasoning in. I'll stop and we'll start it back and we'll start mixing in that seasoning in there. All right, here we go. Now, I've already put uh, one bag. As I was grinding, you know, right, right after I stopped the video a while ago, I took a bag and I, <clears throat> I mixed it in the bottom half of the meat. Oh, I'm going to leave a little bit in this because this will do 50 pounds. I'm not going to leave much because I like mine a little bit more, you know, a little bit more kick to it. So it's not going to hurt to go a little bit over. I'm mixing it from the bottom all the way through. Let 
And let me tell you something. You need a bottle of, uh, I mean, a big jug of hot water because let me tell you, your hands, my hands are freezing already from, from dealing with this stuff. It's super cold. You know, because it's been in that cooler and, uh, hey, it's cold outside. You know, it's pretty cool here. We got a real super humid, humid wet down here in the south. And it's, it's, uh, it's pretty tough. All right. Turn that under. And then hit it one more again with a little bit more. And then I'm going to stir for a while. That is a lot of patty sausage, y'all. All of this right here will go to Kansas, probably. And this is what we'll eat when we're up there. We've got a freezer. I've got another freezer. I'm going to plug it in, have you know, a new one, and I'll have it, oh, have it going and ready. And all we got to do is load the uh, freezer up. And, you know, 12 hours, 12 hour drive, it won't be too bad. Yep, I'll leave a little bit in here. All right, now I'm really fixing the mix. White wind, ripping now, it's getting today. Now work it good, y'all, work it. I've got the, uh, I got a frying pan on the stove over there and I want to try a piece and just make sure. Make sure everything is good. It's seasoned up good, but you know. If not, I'll go back and put a little bit more in it or add a little bit of something else to it if I got too much. But it's pretty close. It says, you know, 20, one pack per 25 pounds. Oh, y'all don't know my hands so cold. So cold. Whew. That right there, that fat's good for you. Oh, good for your skin. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stop this right here. And uh, and clean my hands up and, and get situated and start poking it in here and running it through that, through that fine knife right there. All right, I got it. I got it started. Oh, uh, I did just a little bit. Like I said, I wanted to try it out first. So, you know, you see it right here. It's straight from the, from the grinder to the, uh, to the skillet right here. But you can see, see how fine that is compared to, you know, the other. Anyway, I'm fixing to fry that up and I'll, as soon as this is done, we'll crank it, you know, I'll crank the uh, video back up and we'll see what, uh, See how it tastes and make sure it's good, and then we'll continue on, you know, finish up the video. All right, pull them out right here. Yep. I think she's hungry. She's been she's been in the woods all morning. Anyway, just fried I'm these cold. up. Yeah, it's cold. Ain't I'm no so doubt. Cold. All right, just fried these up. Cut that and try it. I've been over here grinding just just because. I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be hot now. Look at this really thing hot. on. Look at this bad boy on the ground right here looking for something. He's looking for something. Whatever's falling, he's going to pick it up. Merle. <laughs> <laughs> he says, all right, now you got to give me something to eat now that you said my name. All right, let's see what you think. Dude. What you, you think? You know, I got to blow on it for like 20 minutes. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Shouldn't be too bad to try and see. Make sure it's good. It's going to burn me. Quite hot. Hot? Yeah. <clears throat> here, drink right there. Drink. Hmm. It should be good, though. <laughs> it should be good. You don't have to go out. I need to. Anyway, let me try. Let me give it a try. Sorry about that. You got a hot. Well, it's good, though. It's good. Mm -hmm. Looks hot. Looks hot to me, Hannah. There's steam coming off of it. Look at it. It looks a little warm. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's good, though. It's hot. I tried to tell you it was hot. Yeah, and I ate it like, you know, 20 minutes before you did. Because <laughs> it's good. <laughs> hey. Anyway, here we are. We're working on it. We got it done. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, hey, everybody gives me trouble about that. Hannah, explain to them why I haven't made a video on the hog skinning, the, on the skinning shed. Mm, because... Which I've said it before 2,000 times. YouTube will censor it, and then we'll get a strike against our channel. 
And if we get a few strikes in a certain amount of times, we'll lose our channel. Sometimes. We'll lose the channel we completely. We can't risk it. So we're, we're, I guess we're risking it just by showing y'all this part of it, but we can't show you all the, the actual skinning of the animal on the okay. new skinning sheet. People are too sensitive. Yeah, people are sensitive. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Uh, we're fixing to eat a little bit. I'm going to finish grinding right here. And I think that Hannah's, Hannah's going to sit here and eat. But anyway, oh, uh, hey, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. All right, Merle, tighten up. Can you say that yet? <laughs> He's too busy looking for food. Anyway, y'all take care. Have a good one.